Okay, I am super excited because my Peak Design Travel Tripod finally came in the mail. And I am super excited to unbox this and show you guys what is up with this tripod. So yeah, let's do this. Whoosh. What's up YouTube? My name is John Jagsy and today, like I said, we are talking about the Peak Design Traveler's Tripod. If you've been living under a rock, this is a tripod that was a Kickstarter project by Peak Design. And if you're watching me, you've probably seen some other YouTube influencer talk about this tripod, own this tripod, use this tripod, something of that nature. And the way it's marketed is a travel tripod. It is small indicated by the box. And when you're traveling, you kind of need something small so that you don't have a whole lot of weight behind you. So I wanna walk you through this tripod and uh, the opening experience of it because this Kickstarter project came out in the summer, I believe, of 2019, and uh, I'm getting it in December now. So let's open this. I need a knife. Whoosh. Very gentle. I don't want to ruin this very nice packaging. Mm. Ah. Mm. All right, hey, look, we finally got it out of the plastic. So the top part is held down by this elastic thing. So let's just pull that off. And let's take a look at what's inside. So the first thing that we're gonna see is a little bag, but, oh wait, that's the bag for the tripod. Whoa, this is small. What? No way. I didn't expect it to be this small. Like, this is a thick box. Like, look at that. Focus. That's, that's thick with two C's. So this is the bag that the tripod comes with. And we'll tag and moisture absorber. Moment of truth. Unzip. Oh, doesn't go all the way. Mm. What? There is no way this can hold 20 pounds. The box says this can hold 20 pounds. And if you're a DSLR shooter, like most of us, that, that is more than enough. So here is the travel tripod. I didn't have a sort of reference point to how how big this actually is. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to get the other tripod that I've been using for about eight months. One second. All right, so here is the Peak Design Traveler's Tripod. Very light, it's, we're gonna measure this in just a second, but this is the newer travel tripod that I have been using for a long time, and I love this. This is mainly my photography tripod. And sometimes I'll use it for video if I just need a static still shot, and I have my other video tripods if I need something with a fluid head, but this thing, the like sheer difference in size is um, insane. Like this is like a water bottle and a half. This is like three water bottles. Feeling it in my hands right now, this one definitely is a little bit heavier. The problem that I don't like about this one so far is it, it, it's a little finicky the way it sort of unfolds. So like you, ha you gotta do this and then you gotta sort of, oh, come on. Yeah, so. You gotta set it up. And it, it's not that big of a deal um, when I'm doing like still shots, but if I have to be, be really quick, I want something that it, that is quick. And what I like about this is this is that standard tripod setup where it just, boop, just does that. So um, this is not gonna be a full in-depth review of this tripod because I am just getting this in the mail, but 
this is really, really cool because this is going to dramatically decrease the amount of weight I'm going to have on my travel kit. So as a traveling videographer for clients, sometimes I'll need to bring a tripod and this is small enough where I can more easily fit a gimbal into my bag. When you travel as a photographer, every inch counts and uh, there's opportunity cost when you have a big piece of equipment. So this is going to hopefully help with that. So let's talk about some of the things I, that I can see that I'm excited about. Obviously the size of it is small. The plate looks a little, uh, let's see how this comes off. So, okay, so it has this little sort of pull, pulley switch, that sort of, I see, okay. So what happens with this is you have the plate up here and then you have this locking mechanism that will prevent it from going down. So the plate actually comes off if you push this down and then sort of, I guess, pull it out. Aha, there we go. So there's the plate. This is really small, really small, like interestingly small. I wonder if my, my Joby uh, plate will fit on this. We'll test that in another video when I do a full in-depth review of this, but that's how the plate comes off. You have this little switch here and then that goes in. Go. Okay, so future Jags here, and I figured it out. Uh, the way the plate works is there is a lock position here. That focus, focus. Yeah, so right there. And uh, it goes under the plate, and then when you switch it to the unlock by twisting it, then this will just come down a lot easier, and the plate will come off and then you can get the Joby pod on. Now I would put the Joby plate on, but right now I'm using it. So another video, like I said, plate goes on like so. Do not force it, like I mentioned. Twist the lock, so right now it's unlocked, so this can come off and then we can just twist that and now this won't come down, all right? That's how the plate locks on. So your camera will be safe. Yeah, let's get back to the video. It has a little level on the very top right here. Focus, focus, yeah, right there. So that's useful. This tripod also has a level, um, but uh, it's sometimes hard to see if you have a camera on top of it. So that's annoying. Um, on this one, not this one. I, I guess if you had a camera on top of it as well, it'd be kind of hard to see. So yeah, uh, another cool thing that comes on this tripod is uh, this little Allen wrench kit that is on the bottom here. The bottom plate, the bottom of the plate actually has the attachment for this. So far, I'm very impressed with this tripod. So the last thing we're gonna do is see how this fits into my camera bag. Let me grab that. Got the low pro camera bag. And normally what I do for my setup is I will put my big tripod on this face here. And then on the bottom here, I got this little like lip sort of container to hold the very bottom leg of it. And then if I'm either doing vlogging or pretending I'm gonna vlog, I will put my Joby on this side here. So because of the size of this, um, I will probably still put it on this side, but on my other, my old tripod, I could only fit one leg in here. So it'd be kind of like dingly dangly everywhere. So does this, does all of this fit? It could, it's like passable in there. And then this can just go. Yeah, I would definitely not pack it like this. So normally what I would do is, I would probably still do the one leg trick and then tighten her up. So pull that tight or pull the leg down, then tighten it up. 
you know what? We're gonna change this setup because this this tripod is going to be this these straps need to come a little lower. So let's just do that. Let's just do that right now. That's how I would pack this, and I might have to either tighten this more. Yeah, just give that a nice pull. And then, yeah, that is much more secure than my other tripod because normally it'd be flopping all over the place. So that is a very nice plus. Um, very excited about this tripod just from like looking at it and feeling it the just the sheer aesthetics of it is a lot nicer than my, my other tripod I love digital effects and uh, squares and hexagons and polygons and all that fun stuff as a motion designer and uh, this has th that cool look that uh, I always like with uh, my motion design so that is cool uh, you got the logo right there so i'm very excited for this tripod the build like this this feels like a weapon still and you know you have a good tripod when you can just be like Pah! but obviously also don't do that because um then you'll get kicked out of wherever you are and possibly arrested so that's the peak design travel tripod very excited for this if you do have the urge, the itch to purchase this uh, and you have some extra money laying around, this is maybe a good decision. Uh, I'm gonna come out with a full review in the near future, but so far, just my first impressions of this, I am very satisfied because I needed something small. And this guy, as much as I love him to death, I just am a little, frustrated sometimes when I'm like trying to set up a, a shot and uh, I gotta unfold the legs all the way down versus just like pull out of bag click 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 I'm happy I'm happy with my purchase so far review coming soon I hope this was uh, an, a mildly entertaining video for you because obviously we didn't really learn anything new, but we kind of just talked about this guy because um, as a traveling videographer, it is very important to have a small kit so that you can get to point A to point B in the most cost-effective way possible when you have more weight and more gear, then it's just like, ugh. Then you're worried more about the gear than the actual creative process of making photo and video and whatever else so i hope you enjoyed this video our new subscribers are we actually got a couple this week so thank you guys for uh joining the party we have miguel a wilder and uh looking at your profile photo i like your profile photo it look gives me a solid armin van buren vibe right on annalisa rodriguez and uh Hello, let's check out your YouTube. Uh, don't have any videos, but um, thanks for subscribing, Annalisa. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic day on top of uh, this YouTube video. Akhil JS, thanks for subscribing, man. Um, you, you rock. I appreciate it. And um, I hope that your day on a scale of 1 to 10 is a 11 right now i don't know what you're doing if you're training i hope you hit some prs if you're doing art making videos i hope you get those shots thanks man alex ian i appreciate you coming by uh don't see a profile photo but hey thanks for checking out my content man i hope that whatever you're having for breakfast today is just like awesome like i don't know pancakes or something or yeah uh larry victor Thanks for subscribing. And when I saw your name, I thought of League of Legends because Victor. Uh, let's see. Oh, and hey, you have 3.5K subscribers. So cool, man. Thanks for uh, joining the party as well. Uh, and I think that that's it so far. So we got the four new ones. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you're new here, I try to give a shout out to anyone who subscribes to my YouTube channel. So thank you very much. Um, I know I'm asking for a uh, very bad experience or a very long video rather if I like somehow get a bunch of subscribers all in one sitting. It's just like, well, we just have a video talking about that. But that, 
that's a whole separate issue. And the last thing I wanna talk about really quick is uh, we're in my living room instead. And I printed my first set of prints ever and I am super stoked about it. And the reason why I'm mentioning it is this guy up here is my first metal print that I did just cause I moved into a new apartment and I was like, I want something special in this living room. Cause my friend, my roommate, she is an am amazing toy designer and she has quite a collection of toys, but she was like, hey, Jax, you should totally have something in your living room that is like, um, you. So there's that, let's, uh, and uh, ig ignore, ignore that, uh, but, yeah, there it is. That is Mirror Lake in Yosemite National Park. So, yeah. Thank you again for watching this video. I apologize if it was long. Peak Design Tripod, so far, really, really happy with it. And I hope you have a killer lunch. I'm about to go eat some shabu shabu. So, eat your vegetables, as Potato Jet says. But I'm going to change that and say, eat your protein, because... Uh, your body composition and uh, maybe lift some weights. Bye. Bye.